Hey guys, we are here at Eibach today and we're gonna be doing a factory tour. Eibach, as you know, is behind so many of the springs in the light truck uh, passenger car market. So we're gonna go check out sway bars, coil springs, dampers, uh, their manufacturing facility, which is state-of-the-art German manufacturing. Uh, let's check it out. We'll see you guys in a minute. Come in, Eric. Eric, nice yeah. to meet you. Mark. Normally, I would go into the lobby and get uh, some safety glasses, but I got to get you checked in before we can even go to the lobby first. So let's get everybody checked in, and then we'll go from there. Ninety-five point three. Almost dead. Basically, Eibach started in Germany in uh, 1951 and uh, started with uh, the Eibach family, Heinrich, and uh, he handed it over to Wilfred, who uh, brought us here in 1987. So um, there are multiple locations throughout the globe. There's engineering and manufacturing here in Germany and also in China. And then we have distribution of like 80, 82 other countries across the globe. So we're, we're pretty much everywhere. Um, but this location, like you said, started in Irvine mm -hmm. in 87 and we were just doing uh, essentially uh, race springs and then we started to do lowering springs and mm -hmm. we were kind of the only ones around at the time for the most part or, yeah. you know, the ones that had the best distribution. Yeah. So we had something for everyone, we had really good distribution and, and the name grew pretty quickly. in for 500, minimum of 500 hours, and then test, and then see how far the corrosion spreads, and then that way we know our coating's good. Uh, we did this process with the zinc coating that we did on the dampers. Okay. We took a bunch of different you know, market uh, products and then um, tested all of them, and we came out with a, a coating that we thought was acceptable and really held up pretty nice. well. So Acceptable or better? Uh, it's about the same. It's a little better. Okay. But you know, the, really, the best thing to do is to look, like clear coat over it. But if you're using spring grooves and stuff like that, it's yeah, impossible can. to do yeah. that. So. This machine right here is a cycle tester. So we'll do. Um, we'll put the springs in here, uh, four springs, and then we'll run them uh, minimum of like 500,000 cycles. Mm -hmm. um, this came about from our OE. You know, you need to be able to have a minimum um, minimum amount. Of, actually, all of these tools came about because once we started doing manufacturing springs for OE uh, oh, yeah. companies, you have to have minimums and they'd be like, okay, it needs to cycle this many times. The, the corrosion can only spread, you know, five, five thou or something like that yeah. from the, from the scratch point. So yeah. um, all this came about from just having to hit the high, the high standards of the OE yeah. uh, and, and market. So, but nothing on this guy right now. And then this is a uh, all prototype Dampers, you'll see oh, some yes. big boys up there that might sooner or later come down the pipeline. Two Yeah. All material there. We've got this here our uh, piston rod. So we'll go through. These are all piston rods. It's hard to really say like this is the, the rule for everything because yeah. we want to like 
we all know what we want as far as like a balance of ride quality and control and comfort. Yeah. And uh, you know, we're we're all on the same page. So marketing, sales, and uh, engineering, we have meetings every week to talk about whatever's going on. Like, yeah. we're riding in cars. We're looking at heights together. Like, we're all working together to make sure that we have like a good balance. Yeah. Because that's always what the box been. It's like, yeah. We might not be the the lowest guys, but like we always yeah. rode the best. You know. Yeah, yeah. I got you. So yeah. um, not not you're not going to the extremes in either range. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Like a happy medium of like that fits everyone's yep. budget and market, you know. So yeah. that's uh Over to here, okay. um, our piston assembly. Again, the piston assembly is all hand done, and then it's uh, all torqued here, so all the pistons are all torqued to the same spec. Okay. Again, it keeps things consistent left to right. Cool. You under torque or over torque that stuff, you get different valving. All right. Better over there. When they're done, they come over here to end forming, and what these machines do is they'll, you know, they'll superheat the end. It'll smash, one machine will smash it, the other one will like clean the end up and then the other one will punch the holes in it. Oh, all right. All automated? Cybok is building everything here in-house in Corona. All their own shock dynos, all their own assemblies, all their own piston rods, all their own materials from start to finish. Uh, their 2014 uh, started their truck program and it's been in-house here in Corona, California from the very beginning. We try and keep our raw material sourcing to a minimum so we can all have the same uh, raw material. So whether you're getting a spring made at Eibach Germany, Eibach China, or Eibach North America, it's all the same stuff. Yeah. Uh, exactly the same. We all use the same materials, uh, same machines as well. Germany's got a lot more machines because they're yeah. manufacturing for the OE yeah. market. So like market. they're doing uh, Mercedes, Porsche, uh, BMW, factory springs. Mm -hmm. Like you'll never know they're ours, but uh, yeah. they're ours. Yeah. Um, so they've got tons of volume running through there, and, uh, and a facility that runs 24/7. So yeah. it's uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But we we focus mostly on the aftermarket. How big is this facility here? This is 150,000 square feet. Okay. So. Yeah. All right. But, yeah, you guys are mostly aftermarket here, right? Yeah, we do some OE stuff. We've had, uh, I mean, we've had um, work with Toyota for a lot of their export stuff and some TRD stuff as well. So. Um, there's been other stuff coming through here. A yeah. lot of times it's like the uh, the special edition model, yeah. so yeah, lower yeah. volume stuff. Yeah. Or we'll be like a tier two supplier, so we'll work with someone like Fox or okay. Bill Stein or whoever to, to work on the screen. All right. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, and then the other cool thing is like, so when we develop a product, let's say we do want a, a lift spring, um, we actually bring the vehicle in, we're actually just gonna, it's pretty easy, you can measure the height of the spring compressed on the alignment rack. Um, and then when we take everything apart, we're gonna bring that in here, we're gonna bring the spring down to that, and then we know the exact load with motion ratio, shock angle, everything included okay. on that front spring. Uh, and then let's say we want, you know, let's say we want a two inch level, we can actually, we know that vehicle load, and then we can design that height at two inches higher. So uh, the cool thing there is that when these springs come back through our final QA, they're going to be checked to the exact vehicle load. Uh, so you know that they're going to sit right on the truck. Gotcha. And that's the big thing. So all of our QA as far as height is done with the actual vehicle load that we measured here from a production vehicle. Um, so you can be sure that they're all the same you know, when you get them on the truck. Okay. Same thing really for the lower. It's really happening. It's happening. Uh, okay. We're working on a... Uh, right now we're working 
working on the two trucks that come equipped with the OEM rear sway bars. I believe that's the Ram and the Tundra. The Tundra, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we don't. We just want to start with not making a bunch of hardware, uh, and then we're going to do softer bars for the four runner. So, oh, okay. I don't know if you guys have any input on that. Softer bars on the four runner? Yeah. These guys want to take their bars. All right, that about wraps it up. Thanks to Shock Surplus for coming on by and checking out how we make our springs and shocks right here in Corona, California. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for coming. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks so much for joining us on this tour. Ibach showed us like some really good stuff. One of the big things that we came took away from this is Ibach is developing all their own dampers here in house in Corona, California. So that's a big uh, win for them. Uh, they're delivering a bunch of new products for the truck market. Uh, we'll hopefully have those for you guys here pretty soon. But thanks so much to Ibach for the tour. Really, really appreciate it to Mark and Michael for your guys' time. Thanks so much.